up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pounding i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 toyota camry courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i am in this one today not just for the legendary reliability as we all know at this point but some of you may not know you actually get two years or twenty-five thousand miles of complimentary maintenance on any new toyota as well and you do have that all-wheel drive availability that is going to be there for the camry if you wanted to go that route as well and so in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering to a ride quality sound system exhaust clip all of that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into to it and as always let's start with pricing and so when it comes to pricing there are several different trim levels for the 2022 Camry first one being the LE starting at 25,295 SE which is the one we have today starting at 26,835 SE nightshade edition for 27,535 XLE for $30,045 XSE for $30,595 TRD for $32,360 XLE V6 for $35,170 lastly the XSE V6 starting at $35,000 $5,720. And by the way, any of the non V6 trim levels you can get all wheel drive with if you wanted to go that route, simply add $1,400 to any of those prices. But as you can imagine, with all of those trim levels, there are two different engine configurations you can get with the new Camry here. First one is going to be the one that we have today, being a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder, putting out 203 horsepower at 6,600 RPM, 184 pound feet of torque, coming in at 5,000 RPM. Power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters. Zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 7.8 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 28 in the city, 39 on the highway for the front wheel drive, 25 city, 34 then on the highway for the all wheel drive taking regular unleaded fuel. But so then there is that other engine configuration belonging to the V6 trims along with the TRD trim then as well, pointing out 301 horsepower at 6,600 RPM, 267 pound feet of torque coming in at 4,700 RPM, power sent to front wheels only through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters yet again. Zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.8 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 31 on the highway, but yet again taking regular unleaded fuel. But said that before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our new Camry, I did want to mention to you guys the drive modes and those drive mode buttons, by the way, are located directly behind the shifter. They will include eco, normal, and sport, adjusting things like the shift points and the throttle response. And so now having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the acceleration to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 Toyota Camry here up to speed. All right, you guys, I got it in that sport driving mode. Let's get off the center median and here we go. Not that bad. And actually, you know what? All this power is being sent to the front wheels and there wasn't any slipping either. So well done for the tires. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, all-wheel drive, of course, is going to be your best bet, especially in Western Maryland here because of the snow. But having said that, if you got a long commute, maybe the front-wheel drive is your best bet because you get up to 39 miles per gallon on the highway, which is pretty darn impressive. But still, plenty of an acceleration, even with the four-cylinder as opposed to the six-cylinder, without a doubt. But so then to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12-inch ventilated front discs. But if you go with the TRD trim, these actually get bumped up to 12.9 inch ventilated front disc. So that's pretty cool. In the back, 11 inch solid rear disc either way. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, comes in at 122 feet, but 118 feet for the TRD. As far as the braking feel goes, it is quite brilliant. I'm going down a slight hill here. I'm hitting the brakes, but the braking feel feels wonderful here in the camera. It's definitely not a soft braking feel. It's not maybe a little bit on the firm side, but honestly, it's just right for what the Camry has. I'll just put it that way. But anyways, then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get a McPherson strut front suspension in the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, but also TRD tuned track springs. If you were to go with that TRD trim level, in addition to TRD track tuned stabilizer bars, then as well for the TRD trim. Overall, as far as ride quality goes on these super smooth back roads here in Maryland, it's been perfectly fine. Yes, the roads are nice, but so is the ride quality quite honestly. I've had absolutely no issues with my short test drive here in the Camry today. As far as steering fuel goes, it is 
pretty normal. Definitely heavier than I would say the Kia K5 and the Hyundai Sonata. So I do like the steering feel in this one. It leans towards the heavier side, but not as heavy as let's say the Lexus IS350, which is definitely on the heavier side. So really it's just perfect for what the Camry is. And as far as cabin noise goes, you guys could probably tell I am driving right now. I'm at 50 miles per hour actually right now. And there's a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin whatsoever. There's a little bit of road noise, but other than that, it's been perfectly fine. And by the way, there is an acoustic laminated front windshield as well. And that is going to contribute to that. But to the touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. And typically in a sedan like this, you're not going to have any issues, at least with rear visibility. And there is a head up display actually coming with the XLE V6 and the XSE V6 as well. What that is, is essentially going to project your speed, speed limit, and safety features up onto your windshield. So again, it's going to assist with visibility there as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Toyota Camry. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Toyota Camry finished in ash gray metallic. I love this color. It's like a mixture between silver and white. It looks dang good. So big fan of that. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on the 2022 Camry here. The front face is actually going to differ between the LE and SE trims. It doesn't matter if it's XLE, SSE, or LE and SE. They're going to differ. But essentially, you're getting more gloss black accents with that SE trim level and more body colored accents than with the LE. And a little bit of a front bumper difference then as well. But added front splitter with a unique front face can also be had with the TRD trim level specifically as expected there to the sides LED headlights do come standard across the board they come with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out at night they will turn on automatically for you there LED daytime running lights black headlight housings can be had with the SE trims and the TRD trim otherwise you will find clear headlight housings for the LE trim levels that's another big differentiator between those two so we do have the black headlight housing since we have the SE trim level with us here today then to the bottom corners there you will find front air curtains if you were to go with the TRD trim level but overall very aggressive looking front end at least with the SE trims but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the Camry all right and so before we begin on the side here I first did want to mention there are two tone paint colors available we don't obviously have it today but they are going to be there if you wanted to go that route body colored side skirts do come standard for all trim levels but the TRD because the TRD is going to give you gloss black side skirts in case you were curious taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors that will be gloss black though with the trd trim only that will be heated for the xle and xse trims along with that trd trim level and you will get led integrated turn signals only if you go with the xle xse or trd trim levels but then take a look down the wheel configuration 17 inch alloys for the le 18 inch machine finished alloys for the xle and xle v6 19 inch gloss black alloys for the xse and xse v6 and then you got 19 by 8.5 inch matte black alloys for the trd trim level as it begins to snow here in Hagerstown, Maryland. But definitely, I love this side profile. The C-pillar specifically to me has always looked like a Saab, which I love, I always like the design of Saab. So anyways, it pretty much rounds out the side of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, and so now since we are around to the back of the Camry here, there is a body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top. You will find a TRD specific gloss black rear spoiler if you were to go with that TRD trim level, of course. Otherwise, there is a body colored rear spoiler that will be available like we currently have on our SE trim here today. LED taillights do come standard across the board. There will be a gloss black rear diffuser with the TRD trim. And I love the rear diffuser design to our SE trim. It's definitely a very sporty look to it. So I'm definitely a big fan. Take a look at the exhaust outlets because they're actually going to differ substantially then amongst the trim levels. You will find a single exhaust outlet with the LE. Then you'll get dual chrome tips with the SE and XSE trims like we have today. You will get a single single chrome finish with the XLE and then there's dual exhaust outlets with quad chrome tips of course for the V6 trims but having said that I do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. All 
like to now, since we are around back of the Camry here, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there's a couple different ways to go ahead and do that. There is a button on the key fob, of course, and there is a button by the driver's side left knee then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 15.1 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there are a couple of levers located in that cargo area, which you can then pull. And then there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down. So you have a good bit of extra space then if you needed it. Also like seeing there was a couple grocery bag hooks back there, which typically you find in SUVs, but not all the time in sedans. So I was a big fan of that. There's also a couple latches where you could attach your cargo net if you wanted to get that accessory for the Camry. And if you lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will of course find a spare tire there then as well. But then make your way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 38 inches even. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. There is a rear center armrest with couple holders as well coming standard for every single trim level across the board there's front seat fat mat pockets also of course coming standard as far as room for improvement goes there's no rear ventilation at least on our se trim level here today and no charging ports for those rear passengers either but they make our way to the front seats eight-way power driver's seat coming standard with all trim levels across the board with power lumbar as well and that was actually one of the first things i noticed when i got in this one is the driving position is quite excellent and i'll get more to that in a second here but cloth finish with the LE trim, soft text upholstery with the SE trim. That's what we of course have right now. Full leather seating with the XLE and XSE trims, heated front seats with the XLE trim leveled up and ventilated seats are going to be optional, but some of the very most comfortable seats I've experienced in a while. And I've always said this in my reviews, Lexus and Toyota have the most comfortable seats. So definitely a big fan of that. But then making our way to the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrap. And then if you wanted a heated steering wheel, that is going to be optional for the v6 trim levels if you wanted to go that route but then make your way to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do essentially have all of your buttons located on one side of the key being lock unlock and that button to pop the rear hatch but it is all keyless entry with a push button start if you were to go with the xle trim level and up meaning we have the traditional turnkey start with us here today so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and turn the key. And so once started up, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer is to your right. There is a small digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. Simply use the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel, giving you things like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There is a digital speedometer you can display up there if you choose to. There's safety information when you need your next oil change and the list goes on. Pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portions of the gauges at least. Then make our way to overall interior quality there is a panoramic glass roof for the xle v6 and xse v6 trim levels overhead sunglass holder is going to be available we actually do have that found on the uh, ceiling of this one here today home link controls for the xle and xse trims dual zone climate control is also going to be available and we do have that so both driver and passenger can set their own temperatures there wireless phone charger coming with the xle trim level and up you will get aluminum sport pedals for the trd of course and added red stitching then to go along with that there is ambient interior lighting for the xle trim level as well so in addition to that just in front of the shifter you have a usb charging port and a 12 volt power outlet as well there is a little bit of rubberized storage where you're supposed to essentially put your cell phone so it doesn't slide around but if you push that rubberized storage back there's actually a decent amount of storage space underneath of that which i thought was pretty clever by toyota so i do like that just to the right of the shifter you got your dual cup holders and within the center armrest you have one usb charging port and one regular phone charging port then as well but actually overall interior quality is it's pretty darn good i gotta be honest it's not bad i wouldn't have minded if the power window buttons were not a black plastic they could have finished that in like a silver smooth finish or something a little less basic but overall i like the contrast stitching above the passenger side glove box I like the aluminum trim accents found on the side doors there that continue onto the door handles themselves. Overall, definitely gets the job done without a doubt. But then making our way to the tech display, there's gonna be a couple of them here. Seven inch color touchscreen display coming with the LE, SE, and SE nightshade. However, then there is a nine inch color touchscreen display that comes with the XLE trim level and up. Either way, you still get Bluetooth and audio streaming, get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Factory navigation system is gonna be optional 
signal for the V6 trim levels. You can check out your driving statistics up there and of course your radio information then as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound systems on the Camry, you will find six speakers with the LE, SE, SE Nightshade, TRD, XLE, and XSE trims, but then a nine speaker JBL sound system coming with the XLE V6 and the XSE V6 trim. So having said that, we do have, of course, have the six speaker sound system with us here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio here, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. I gotta be honest, for six speakers, that was pretty good. That was really not that bad. There was a decent amount of bass for six speakers, a pretty good clarity. So as far as six speaker sound systems go, at least, that was pretty darn good, I gotta be honest. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the camera in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. And there is a 360 degree monitor available as well, but as always that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the camera is an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard, driver and front passenger knee airbags as well, but it continues rear Rear seat mounted side impact airbags. It's typically like a $300 option on BMW. So that's pretty cool to have them there as well. In the back also you got latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, but also standard on all trim levels will be Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 plus. And essentially what that includes is a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, and dynamic radar cruise control as well. And then if you were to go with the XSC trim level and up, you will also get a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the new Camry, great fuel economy, really, really good fuel economy. 39 miles per gallon on the highway for it not being a hybrid is wonderful. So well done Toyota for that. Of course, you have amazing reliability. This is easily a vehicle that will go 200, 300,000 miles without any major issues. That's what they are known for after all. Excellent safety. It's got that IIHS top safety pick plus. It doesn't get any better than the safety in this thing. Available all wheel drive, which I love, especially here in Hagerstown, Maryland. It's just starting to snow now. So all wheel drive is going to be a brilliant thing when that happens. As far as room for improvement goes, what I would want to see in the Camry is a full digital gauge cluster, just like every other manufacturer is doing right now. I know Toyota is usually a little bit slow for the tech upgrades because they want to keep that reliability. And I understand that, but full digital gauge cluster would be pretty darn cool. The front end design of the Camry is still a little so-so for me. I absolutely love the side profile in the back, but the front end I would say could be adjusted, maybe toned down a little bit. So it's not as polarizing maybe to a lot of other people, but that's about it for this one, you guys. That's all I got. Feel free to let me know what you think of the new Toyota Camry in the comment section below. Be sure to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.